Okay, now that we have an operating system installed, why don't we take a quick tour of your new virtual machine? So notice that the one that I just created, Windows XP Professional, its name is up here. And I can power it on or I can edit it. Notice it shows me a little bit about the virtual hardware. If I want to do anything beyond this with it, I'm going to have to put my cursor up here. Notice this bar appears. Now this bar may already be displayed for you or it may not be, depending on its auto hide setting. And so if you click on this pin here, that changes whether it's pinned, whether it's always visible or whether it will disappear. And if it does auto hide like that, just like it says here, once you move your mouse up here, it, it pops up again. So this again gives me the option to power on. If I'm already powered on, it's gonna give me a chance to shut things down or suspend or restart. I'll talk about this in a minute. And then I also get other options like under VM, I can change settings, I can manage the VM. And we'll get into these more in, in later conversations. So now that we know about that, let's turn it on and see what it looks like. So we have a virtual machine. Notice that it's full screen right now and I can still access this bar up here. If I don't want it to be full screen and there are times when I don't want it to be, click on this button here. It says exit full screen. Notice the whole screen shrunk. This is the size that it's going to be when it's when it's shrunk. So even if I change this, it's always going to be that same size. And if I shrink this down too much now, notice that I have to scroll around to see the whole screen. So I'm going to go back to full screen because I prefer that right now. Now, I have a running virtual machine. What do I do when I want to turn it off? Well, there are a few different ways to do it. If I come back up here, I can suspend it, which is like putting it to sleep. I only recommend doing this if you have a solid state drive, otherwise it just takes too long. It's not really worth the time and it, it seems like if it if it's on a spinning disk drive that's slow, it can actually be a little bit buggy, it's my experience. So yeah, only use that if you have a solid state drive. I can power off this way or I can power off this way. So what's the difference there? This tells the operating system to shut down, which is the same as coming here to the start menu and going to the normal turn off computer menu. If I come back up here, this is like pushing the power button. It just turns it off. And this is like pushing a reset button. So you have all the control you would normally have with a, with a physical machine, except now it's all virtualized. The buttons are just in a menu here instead of on the face of your computer. Forgot to mention, one of the things I like to do when I'm when I'm doing full screen or not is I, I tend to use shortcuts for a lot of different things. And one of the shortcuts that I like to use is, it's, it's control alt, I'm gonna hold control and alt, and then I'm gonna hit enter. Notice that changes whether it's full screen or not. And so from this place, as long as this window is selected, as long as it's not deselected, you know, if I click on something else, it's not gonna work. But as long as this window is selected, I can hit control alt enter again it brings me back to full screen I think that's kind of handy and you can change the shortcuts in preferences here see hotkeys here right now control and alt are the, the the activation keys if you will the 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 root of the of the shortcut so if I want to do enter or leave full screen mode it's control alt enter if I want to switch to the next virtual machine or back again, I can use control alt left and right. And these just save a little time. It's it's nice to not have to put the cursor up here and, and wait for the wait for the bar to come back to be able to switch between a virtual machine, which will just show up in another tab here if I have more than one virtual machine open. Something else to consider is if I just use the control alt keys and then I let them go, I want you to watch what happens to the cursor. You see how the cursor is a is a hand now instead of instead of just the normal pointer. This virtual machine doesn't have focus anymore. That means anything I do, if I'm trying to type in a box, even inside the VM, I mean, I'll give you an example. Let's let's just make a 
a text document. Sure, call it whatever. I'm gonna open this up. I can type in here right now. I'm gonna hit Control Alt and let them go again. See the cursor changed? Now if I try and type, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm typing. Nothing's happening and it's because the virtual machine doesn't have focus right now. So if I click on the virtual machine, it gets focus again. Another thing to note, I'm gonna do Control Alt Enter to come out of full screen mode. If I move my cursor outside of the virtual machine, notice that when I bring it back in, I don't have a hand here, it's, it's a normal cursor. And that's because it, it recognizes that I'm switching out of the virtual machine and then giving focus back to the virtual machine. So it's pretty smart like that. And it can be so nice that the, the few times that it doesn't work out like that, you, you might just wonder, why isn't it working? I'm telling it to work. Well, it, you know, it just, it can't predict every scenario. It doesn't, it can't read your mind, right? Close that. No, I don't want to save the changes. Go back to full screen. Okay, and the last thing I want to look at right now is just uh, take a quick glance at virtual hardware. So if I come back up here and I go to the VM, I'm going to go to settings. This is my virtual hardware. Remember we set the, the RAM to be two gigabytes. We've only got one processor. It, it almost doesn't even matter when we're talking about a virtual machine. If you want to start doing processes that are parallel processes that are multi-threaded, then having more cores or, or telling it that it's got more processors may be a benefit, but really it's, I, I don't find it's that big of a deal for most things. The hard drive, it thinks it has a hard drive that's 40 gigabytes, but this hard drive isn't actually 40 gigabytes on, on my physical, on my host hard drive, unless I fill that up. So this, this is a, a variable size file on the host system. But as far as this virtual machine is concerned, it really does have a 40 gig drive. It's got a built-in CD drive. It's got a network adapter. And we'll talk about a, these in a little more detail later. I just wanted to show you where you can find some of these things. All right, well, that's a quick tour of your VM. Poke around, play with it, learn a lot, and have a lot of fun.